Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So GATE 2024 results are out and if you have given this exam, you probably must have already seen your result by now, right? Now with your GATE rank, with your GATE score, uh, you must be wondering that what exactly you can do with that. So here I am going to talk about that in detail. In this particular video, I'm going to talk about that uh, with a particular rank, what are the opportunities, where you can apply, what you can do. Okay, so these things I'm going to discuss in brief in this particular video. Also, this video is only for GATE chemistry student. So other stream students, I'm not that expert for that. So I'll be talking about only for GATE CY, that is GATE chemistry students. Okay, so starting with uh, the rank top rankers, that means those who have got rank under 100. So rank 1 to rank 100, if, you're, if you are under the, that particular rank, in that case, you have an opportunity. Of course, other options, which I'm going to talk about, those are already open for you but apart from that you have additional opportunity that you can apply for PSUs. This applies on those also who have ranked close to 150. See PSUs they are like it depends every year uh, it depends upon how many vacancies they have. If they have a good number of vacancy they can call up to rank 150. If they have less number of vacancy they can only call up to rank 70 or rank 80 top rank or they can even call top 100 so depending upon that it is very subjective so if your rank is under 150 i would say stay hopeful wait for the uh, ongc wait for iocl to you know uh, uh, like to give a notification regarding that regarding the vacancies and then you can apply for that if you get shortlisted you have to go through an interview and that's all the process which you have to go through and then you can get a job over there okay for the uh, for various positions okay and these are highly paid jobs so if your rank is good i would suggest you to go for that stay hopeful and apply for these positions okay now comes uh, those who whose rank is from 100 to let's say 500 top 500 rankers so do you guys have a opportunity to apply for uh, phd in the top institutes also like top rankers also can apply for that but these uh, students they are like there are chances that you probably won't be getting a chance to apply in a PSU but you have opportunity to apply in top IITs top uh, like institutes like ISC Bangalore you can even apply in BARC okay uh, for scientist B position so these are the places where and you can also apply for DRDO so these are the places where you can apply with your high rank and that is that is the chance that you are going to get so you can apply either for PhDs in top IITs IASC ISERS or you can go for DRDO, BARC uh, in these places as scientist B position. Okay, so these are the two options which you have. Now, those whose rank is from let's say 500 to 1000 or 1200, you guys can, you probably you won't be getting an option or opportunity to apply in BARC or probably there will be a problem or see the thing which I'm telling it's not fixed. If I'm saying let's say till 500, so it is not necessary that 500 rank or 501 rank will not get opportunity for that it is just a general slab which i'm telling uh, it can vary okay you can take plus minus 100 basically they can even call up to rank 600 they can even call up to rank 400 it depends okay it depends upon how many vacancies they have and how many positions they have in that particular cycle so that's why don't generalize it or don't like consider it as a strict slab you can just uh, just get into it you can just you know have like keep uh, like uh, looking for the opportunities see what is the uh, like what opportunities you are able to or you are eligible for and you should go for that okay if your rank is even 600 700 you should go for uh, you should apply for BARC or DRDO if the application uh, like it, it it does not gives you any uh, uh, you know any limitation of gate score or any limitation of rank then you should definitely apply for that okay so coming back to the students whose rank is from let's say 500 to 1000 or even 1200 so these students probably might not get opportunity to apply in brc and drd in these in these places as scientist b position but you still have opportunity to apply for phd in top iits so all the top iits that means all the grade 1 iits or the first generation iits like iit bombay iit kanpur iit madras iit Roorkee, iit uh, kharagpur these all fall under uh, these uh, first generation IT, even IIT Delhi is there. So you can apply in these IITs for PhD position. And the benefit of this is that you will be like, you just have to go through an interview. If you qualify the interview, you will be like 
you will be getting a phd position over there in spite of whether you have qualified csr grf or not if you have qualified csr grf that's an additional point if you have qualified csr net that's an additional point okay but in case if you have not qualified that then also you get opportunity to sit in the interview and then your interview decides that whether you are going to get selected or not once you get selected the best thing is that all the perks everything which you get is equivalent to a grf a student that means your your salary or your stipend basically will be equivalent to uh, to a grf student and the other perks will also be equivalent to that there are some minor differences but let's not talk about that in like that much in nitty gritty but yeah i i hope you get the point that you just uh, like you can go through these institutes you can get into these iits not only iits but also isers like iser pune uh, you can go for iser bhopal is even for iser kolkata so all these top isers first generation isers and first generation iits they basically they can take you based upon these rank if your rank is above this if your rank is beyond uh, let's say 1200 up to 2000 or up to 2200 or up to 2500 in that case you probably might not get selected into uh, generation 1 iits and isers but you, there are chances that you can apply or you can get selected in generation 2 iits generation 2 iits means iit gandhinagar iit guwahati iit uh indor and these iits which which were developed later uh, later uh, than these uh, first generation iits okay so you can apply in these even you can apply in isers like iser tiruvananthapuram you can apply in that uh, you can even apply in iits also based upon your gate rank and gate score for phd again the same thing is there you just have to go through the interview and once you get selected from the interview you will be getting opportunity to join the uh, as a grf over there all the perks all the things are going to remain the same okay lastly those who have just qualified let's say the exam and their rank is not that good their rank is somewhere around 3000 3500 something they have just qualified okay they have merely crossed the cut off so for those also this is not the end or you should not be you know you should not get disheartened uh, you can apply in newer iits those iits which are new you can apply into them you can even apply into nits for phd if you want to ta take advantage of that okay if you want to get into phd and you just don't want to you know miss or waste this particular time in that case uh, you have that option that you can go through these new iits uh, new iits are like uh, uh, iit uh, dharwad is there iit roopar is there okay so you can apply in these iits and uh, these are newer ones and uh, uh, iit jodhpur is there so these are all like newer iits where they probably will take you or they will give opportunity uh, to you to get into the interview and once you sit in the interview you have to perform well over there depending upon your interview performance you will be selected for phd and once you get selected then everything is going to be same just like a grf you will be getting a stipend equivalent to grf you will be getting other perks equivalent to grf so basically the uh, gate exam makes you eligible for two major things one is for psu then the other thing is for i uh, for phd one more additional thing comes like scientist b position which is in some institutes like barc drdo uh, isro so for these institutes uh, you can uh, like you get eligible to apply as a scientist b position so these are the three major things which you can do but as i have said uh, they depend upon how good rank you have got and that's what make you eligible for that so i hope if you have given the exam and if you fall under any of these uh like any of these rank grade or any of these uh, rank slab you might now know that what you have to do and what you can expect from there definitely i will suggest you that if any application uh, is giving you opportunity let's say if i am telling you that only till uh, 150 they call for interview but if let's say the application comes and they call for 200 top 200 rank then you should definitely apply for that okay so don't uh for uh, follow what i have said strictly or just like a, a strict uh, you know barrier what rank i have said it can be it is very subjective every year as i said it depends upon the rank uh, sorry it depends upon the vacancies it depends upon how many positions they have okay so keep an eye on the platform now now you have to be very active over the internet you have to keep looking for the positions you have to keep looking for the applications whatever comes in the upcoming days and you have to apply for that okay already many iits have opened their application portal you have to keep an eye on that and uh, like you have to wait for the other institutes also so that they start apply us uh, they start 
uh, you know calling uh, for the interview process or for the vacancies one more thing which i will add at the end is that yes this is very true that uh, uh, many of the psus they have stopped taking or i would say they have uh, they have not taken a huge number of students in the past one or two years and the reason is you know that there is a recession going on the uh, the, the many of the institutes many of these psus they are not profitable that much so they start cutting out the vacancies and that's the reason why they have not called for you know interview in the last one or two cycles but still you should be hopeful you should wait for that and you should not just rely on the psus just keep them as a you know one part but yeah you should also look upon the other opportunities as a backup and try to look upon that because academia or phd and these things are always there and they will be always open irrespective of whether psus call for interview or not okay so these iits and isc and these institutes are definitely going to call you so keep an eye upon that and all the best for your career if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section below also for research related uh, things or for research related advices i have made a dedicated youtube channel for that it's all about research the link is there in the description of this video also i will give you link in the comment section i'll pin the links so you can subscribe to that channel i have started uploading various videos related to research and queries related to that so subscribe the channel and get benefit related to research content over there so that's all from my side for this particular video i will see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care and wish you all the best once again for your result and for your career